Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a World War I United States Cavalry uniform in Red Dead Redemption. First things first, what you're going to do is you're going to go to boots and first of all, uh, let me just remove these chaps. Alright, I'm going to go to boots. And then you're going to go to the Rambler boots. After you do this, you're going to go over to Chaps. And you can decide what you want to do here. You can either get the tanned half Chaps, or you can just leave them clean and not do anything. I'm going to not do anything with them. You're then going to go ahead and get some spurs. I'd recommend getting the uh, Gurdon Rider Spurs in the brown colour. You're then going to go to Pants, and what you want to do is you want to go to, uh, what is it? Everyday Pants, and you're going to get the brownish colour Everyday Pants. Once you do that, go up to and go to the collar over shirt in this colour here, not this one, if you get it in this specific colour, it, it doesn't have a name, they don't have names for colours in this game, which is annoying. It is checkered, but you can hardly see it from a distance, and it's the best brown shirt that we can get. For suspenders, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the fine leather suspenders in this beige colour uh, here. Then going to go to your weapon equipment make sure for your gun belt you want to just go with simple Arthur's gun belt or you can go with the weather gun belt I'm gonna go with Arthur's uh, I mean uh, the weather pistol belt then go to holsters and I'm just gonna go with Arthur's holster for all of them or just end the regular offhand holster and then get the sharpshooter bandolier if you can if you can't, then just get the normal bandolier. Um, for purposes, I'll just use the normal bandolier. Then what we're going to do is go over to gloves, get the cavalry gloves uh, with this brown colour here. Uh, a lot of units also didn't have cavalry gloves, so you can just take those off if you'd like. Um, sadly, we don't have helmets in the game, so we're just going to go with the uh, two options. You can go with the military mounty hat which i personally like the most or you can also go with the military scout hat i'm um, here another option if you really wanted to i you know not really my thing but it is the um where is it not that stalker hat in beige you can also get that um which it's all right but i personally prefer out of all of them the military mounty hat because it is literally a cavalry hat for the u.s military so that's all for the outfit a few little changes you can make like i said the gloves and the chaps i'll show you with the chaps real quick i personally prefer it with the chaps but there you go that's with the chaps i really like it and then, yeah, that's it for this outfit. Um, for beads, you want to have clean shaven and buzzed haircut. I'm not going to do that because I want to save my beard. But yeah, you're going to get clean shaven, buzzed haircut. Um, plays Arthur or John, both work. And then that's it for the World War One United States Cavalry outfit. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, because then I know that you want to see more. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption outfit videos, I have a few planned that I can do in the future. If you have any suggestions for any outfits, any military outfits throughout the world, anything like that, that are possible to make in the game. I can't do a modern day American outfit. Uh, then make sure to tell me down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed, already said that. <laughs> bye bye.